This is DashboardSymbols.com. Here, we will demonstrate opening and starting Hyundai electric models with dead batteries in their key fobs. To date, these models include the Kona and Ionic. There are three ways to get in, but a single backup start option. And there's nothing mysterious about the EVs. We'll get you in and going. To get inside, we'll first need the mechanical key hiding in the fob. Look for the release lever on the back of the key fob. Slide the lever to one side, it's a little awkward, and pull the key ring removing the mechanical key. Ionic models are hiding the keyhole. Early models have a handle that looks like this, with a cap at the back that needs to be removed. Beneath it, you'll find a slot with a black button like this one poking through. Use the mechanical key to push the button upwards. The moment you do, the cap is free to be pulled away along with the key. The key cylinder is now exposed. Later Ionic models have a flush handle. After pushing the front of the handle in, pull the back all the way out to expose the keyhole. The Kona's keyhole is already exposed, so no extra effort is required. In all cases now, simply insert the mechanical key and turn, and you're in. And it sets off the alarm, which will be turned off once we get the car started. Note here that if the alarm does not sound, and no other electronics are working, the car's main 12-volt battery is likely dead, and you'll need roadside assistance but it won't hurt to give the following a try. An attempt to start the car fails, so we'll need a backup method to get the car to recognize the key fob. For all of Hyundai's EVs, it is a simple push of the start-stop button with the back or tip of the key fob while stepping on the brake. The car recognizes the fob, even though the fob's internal battery is dead, and starts. And you'll be underway. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs. For help with other keyless or push-button start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube, subscribe to this channel, or go to dashboardsymbols.com.